Hey everyone, Mr. Boykin here. This is Unit 10 and Lesson 5, and we're now doing some applications of these systems of linear equations, which basically means taking a look at some word problems, something that all students love. Uh, so basically, we're going to have to uh, interpret what's uh, being said inside of these word problems and generate two equations. And once we have two equations, then it will be up to you or depending if the question is uh, telling you to use one of these three uh, systems. So you could graph the two equations and find the intersection, or you could use the substitution or elimination um, methods. So let's take a uh, look at this class example one. And this is a pretty standard question. So right off the bat, uh, it tells us uh, that the difference between two numbers, so again, so we know we have two numbers, they are going to be X and Y. So I, I highly recommend, you know, having a highlighter or two or three highlighters with different colors so that you can uh, highlight some different and important information. So if I know the difference between two numbers is nine, that means X minus Y is going to equal nine. So the first thing that you need to do is always set up your let statement. So let X be the large number and let Y be a small number. So in, uh, you have to understand the word difference. That means the answer to a subtraction. So when we're subtracting, we take the large minus the small. So it's going to be X minus Y, and that will equal nine. So there's one of our equations. Um, now, the second part says the large number. So the large number is three more than twice the small number. Okay, so in this case, we're comparing the two. We're saying, how, how are the two compared? How is the small number and the large number uh, uh, in comparison to each other. So when we're comparing something, we want to make it equal to each other. So I'm going to say X equals Y, but we know that's not true. The large number does not equal the small number as it states right here. This says the large number equals the small number. And we know that is not true. So the large number is three more than twice the small number. So if the large number is three more, to make them equal, uh, if the large number is three more, it has three more, I'm going to add three more to the other side, to the small number. And it's three more than twice the small number. So when we say twice, another way they could represent that is two times the small number. So twice the small number it means two times the small number. So if I multiply the small number by two, then add three, then it is the same as the large number. Okay, so now I've generated two equations and I just need to put them into the same format. So to match the one on the left, I could rewrite the uh, one on the right as X minus two Y equals three. Now I just take these two right here, stack them up. I need to figure out what am I going to do? I'm gonna use elimination because I have uh, an X and a y, uh, two X's with both a coefficient of one. And because they're both positive one, I'm gonna to need to subtract them to delete them. And now um, I just go through and uh, do the calculation. So nine minus three gives us the six. And, you know, again, saying this to yourself in your head, especially during a test, you, know, you can't be shouting things out, but saying it in your head or write, rewriting it down, whatever it takes, punch it into the calculator. You know, like when I look here, it's, it's a little bit confusing, all stacked up with the minus sign over to the left, but this is, uh, the Y is like negative Y minus negative two Y. And we know that two minuses make a plus, so it's negative Y plus two Y, which equals Y. 
Okay, so again, state it to yourself or rewrite it in a, a linear fashion, uh, whatever it takes. Uh, but we ended up with y equals 6. So there we go. We know that y equals 6. And now I just need to put uh, that 6 or uh, the number 6 I need to substitute into one of the equations that we made. Um, and better yet, both. So if I have this x minus 6 equals 9. So I just substituted uh, the 6 right here into this equation and now I'm going to add 6 to both sides and I end up with x equals 15 okay and like I said to verify we want to verify on both of these equations so we're going to be like uh, x minus y that's 15 minus 6 does that equal 9 and the answer is yes. Okay, and I'm not gonna do it on the second one because it will work out to be true anyways. Um, but I'm gonna also show you that uh, if you look up on the screen here on the calculator, I reworked those equations. So for the one equation, I got y equals x minus nine. And on the second one, it's y equals one over two x minus three over two. And I had to set the window up to go to the right a little bit more so I could capture the x value of 15. And you can see when we graph it, we do get an intersecting point right here. And if I hit the intersect button, it gives me a coordinate of 15 and 6. And we know the 15, the first one is the x and the second one is the y. And again, that verifies uh, the mathematical calculations that we completed. Okay. Okay, the next example, class example two, another very uh, popular type of question. We got the perimeter of a rectangle that is 40 meters. So again, I would be highlighting that information, uh, making note of the units, which are meters, and um, in these word problems, it's also good to create a little drawing uh, because a visual representation of the word problem is going to be very helpful. So what do we know about a perimeter? Well, a perimeter is when we add up all the uh, lengths around the, the object. And on a rectangle, quite often we're dealing with a length and a width. So. Uh, again, to generate a question, uh, how do we calculate the perimeter? Well, 2 times the length plus 2 times the width is going to equal the perimeter. And we know the perimeter is 40. Okay, now I would make a let statement where I'll be let x be the length and let y be the width. So that allows me to rewrite this using x and y. So 2x plus 2y equals 40. Second part of the equation is saying that the width is 4 meters less than the length. So again, here we are, just like the first example, we are comparing the length and the width. So we're saying, is the length equal to the width? Is it? Well, no. We know that the width is um, four less, okay? So it's four smaller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract four from the length to make them equal. Now again, uh, we're not using L and W. L is gonna be X, so we got X minus four equals, and the W is Y. So right now I gotta decide, am I gonna use, um, substitution, elimination, or am I going to graph this? And at this point, it's possible to do any three of those. But because right now, this one right here is basically saying y equals x minus four, it's really easy to just use x minus four as the y value and substitute it into that equation. Okay, so I'll just minimize this one right here and we'll do that. Okay, so I'll take 
uh, excuse me, I'll take my 2 times x plus 2 times y, and what is y? We said that it's x minus 4, and we know that equals 40. Now I just need to expand and collect all the like terms and then uh, finish the uh, calculation using some algebra. So 2x plus 2x minus 8 equals 40. I'm going to add 8 to both sides. So I'm going to end up with 4x uh, equals 48 and divide by 4 and divide by 4 and 4 into 48 goes... Uh, 12 times, so we get x equals 12. Okay, and don't forget that's going to end up being 12 meters. Um, so we're going to just resize this. So now that I've got my x value, which is my length, I now need to calculate my width. So again, just some simple substitution. Uh, if I look right here, I got um, 2x plus 2y equals uh, 40. So again, if I know x equals 12, I'm going to go 2 times 12 plus 2y equals 40. 24 plus 2y equals 40. Subtract 24 from each side, and I'm going to get 2y equals 16. Divide 2 on both sides, and I get y equals 8. Okay, so is this correct? Well, again, we're going to go back into uh, one of the equations using that x, oops, don't want to do that, using that x and y uh, value that we calculated and do some verification. Okay, so if I go uh, back into that same equation, or I'll use the other one in this case, so um, y, what is y? y equals x minus 4, y is 8, equals x, 12, minus 4, 8 equals 8, and it is verified. Now, when you answer this question, you should be putting down a word response. So, the question is, uh, find the dimensions of the rectangle, uh, the length of the rectangle is 12 meters and the width is 8 meters. And really we should have done the same thing up here uh, such as the large number is 15 and the small number is 6. Okay, so that's the end of example 2. Okay, moving on to class example 3. Uh, we've got a word problem involving money. Okay, so let's take a look at first sentence. So this person right here has $260 in total. Um, so that's important. Uh, also, uh, he's got two different denominations, $5 bills and $10 bills. So uh, what it's not telling us is how many of each of those they have. So I'm going to be like, let X be the number of fives and let Y be the number of of tens okay so in this case uh it's basically be, i have five dollar bills but i don't know how many and i've got a bunch of ten dollar bills but i don't know how many but the total is going to be worth 260 dollars okay so that's our first equation and what does the second part say right here? He has 30, uh, 33 bills. Okay. So if he has 33, he's got a certain number of fives plus a certain number of tens is going to be a total of 33 
uh, monetary notes. So there's our two equations. And you can see right here that, um, again, I, it'd be easy enough to move the Y over to the other side or the X to the other side and be able to use some substitution. Or I could multiply this by five or 10 and use some uh, elimination. So I will just sort of multiply this by five. And if I do that, we're gonna end up with 5x plus 5y and 33 times 5 is 165 so that 33 right there is now going to be 165 so there's our two equations right there and I'm going to eliminate the x's because they have the same coefficient same sign we are going to subtract those two and 260 minus 165 is 95. 10y minus 5y is 5y, and these two are eliminated. And I divide everything by 5, and I end up with y equals 19. And in this case, y are, uh, y is, are the $10 bills, so we have 19 $10 bills. Okay, so what I've got is 19 tens, 19 tens right here. Okay, so once I know that I have got a, a Y value of 19, again, easy enough to substitute Y into one of our original equations. So I have 5X plus 10 times 19 equals 260, 5X equals 190, or I'm sorry, plus 190 equals 260. I'm gonna take the 260 and subtract 190 from both sides really and end up with 70. So what I've got is 5x equals 70. And if I divide both sides by five, I'm gonna end up with 14. And x is the number of fives, so I have 14 $5 bills. Okay, so I'm just gonna shrink this down. I'm not going to go through and verify that. We've done that enough and you know how to do it. Uh, but again, uh, you will be required to sort of uh, respond to a word problem with a word answer and using the correct uh, values as well as the correct units. So Gary has, uh, if I go with X, X's are 14, so 14 $5 bills and 19 $10 bills. Okay, doesn't take long to do that, so if it's required of you, don't be lazy and just get it done. Okay, the last example, uh, we've got an investment happening here. So Laura invested uh, 48,000 in two different funds. So she took a total of 48,000 and put it in uh, two different mutual funds. Now, usually the last sentence is what they're asking you to calculate. So it's like, how much did she invest in each fund? So that last sentence is what's gonna help us set up our let statements. So let X be, um, amount for fund one and let let y be the amount for fund two okay so if i know she took an amount of money for one and the amount of money for two the total was forty eight thousand so that first equation is really easy the amount of money in fund one plus the amount of money in fund two is going to equal uh, the total amount, which is 48,000 and the units are dollars. Now, essentially what's happening here, she made extra money. So she made a total of $5,520 on top of her original investment. So she made 10.5% more on the investment one and she made 
extra on the investment number two. Now those are in percentages, so to use them in our calculation, we're gonna change that to a decimal by moving the uh, uh, decimal that's there right now to the left, dividing it by 100. So essentially what this one is saying, if we take 0 0.105 and multiply it by my original investment in fund one and add to that 0 0.12, times my original investment in fund two, the amount of money that I will make extra is gonna be 5,520, okay? So we know that multiplying by decimal is gonna give us a smaller amount, okay? So now I need to uh, choose which method am I going to use? Well, I can see that taking this original formula and just changing this to X equals 48,000 minus y, I can then use substitution quite easily. So this becomes uh, 0 0.105 times x. And what do we know x is? Well, it's that, 48,000 minus y plus 0 0.12 y, and that will equal 5,520. So 48,000 times... Uh, 0.105 is 5,040 minus 0 0.105y plus 0.12y equals 5,520. I'm going to need to reduce the size of this a little bit so I can fit all my calculations in here. And I'm going to subtract. 5,040 from both sides. So I've got 5520 minus the 5,040. We got 480. So that will uh, essentially kill everything on this side. And on the other side, we're going to have 480 by subtracting 5,040 from both sides. And then on the left side, I can combine those two. So I've got a negative uh, 0.105 plus a 0.12 and that ends up being 0.015 y. Now to isolate the y, I just need to divide uh, both sides by 0 0.015. So 480 uh, divided by 0 0.015 gives us 32,000. So if we look up top, y is the amount in fund number two okay so now all i have to do is uh, choose uh, a an equation this one's the easiest obviously so i've got x plus y which is thirty two thousand and that's going to equal forty eight thousand and if i subtract thirty two thousand from either side i'm going to get x equals sixteen thousand so in this case, the answer would be um, Laura invested, uh, no, X is $16,000 in fund one and $32,000, don't forget the units, in fund two. And there we have it, that's done. Now moving on to the assignment, page 643. And it takes us all the way to the end again to our answers on 647. See you in class.